Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I'm going to be reading part 11 of the book of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This part is called A Christian King Helps Out. So let's begin. In 615 AD, Five years after the beginning of the revelation of the Qur'an, a group of the Prophet's companions, weary of daily torture and hardship, left Mecca on the Prophet's advice to seek shelter in Abyssinia, or Ethiopia, with the Christian ruler King Najashi. Under the cover of nightfall, 16 of them slipped away, to be followed later by another 83 men and women. When the Meccans discovered this, they were enraged, particularly because the children of many leading families were among them. The Quraysh leaders sent two of their cleverest men to persuade King Najashi to send the Muslims back. On arrival, they first gave gifts to the king's advisors, saying that that some foolish Meccans had recently migrated to Abyssinia and that they intended to ask the king for their return. Then they went to the king and said, Your Majesty, the people have abandoned the re religion of Mecca, but they have not even became Christians like you. The king's advisors, advisors promptly urged away to hand them over straight away. But the kings, unconvinced, became angry and say, saying, No, by God, they came to me for protection and I will hear what they have to say. The Meccans were, the Meccans were dismayed at this, realizing that the king would immediately sense the, the migrants' sincerity. When the Muslims entered, they did not bow before King Najashi and were thereupon rebuked by the advisors. But the Muslims simply said, We kneel only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The King Najashi asked them about their religion. The Muslim spokesman, Jaf Jafar ibn Abi Talib, radiallahu anhu, Ali's brother and the Prophet's cousin, said, O king, we and our ancestors turned away in ignorance from the faith of the Prophet Ibrahim salam, who with Ismail salam, built the Kaaba and worshipped only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We did quite unspe unspeakable things, worshipping idols, treating our neighbors unfairly, oppressing oppressing the weak, and so on, and so on. This was our life until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a messenger from among us, one of our relatives, known always to have been honest, innocent, and faithful. He asked us to worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to give up the bad customs of our forefathers, to be truthful and trustworthy, to respect and help our neighbors to honor our families and look after orphans and to put an end to the misdeeds and fighting. He ordered us to slander neither men nor women. He bade us he bade us worship none other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to pray, to give alms and to fast. We believe in him and follow his lead. The Meccans began to come between us and our religion. So we left our homes and came to you hoping to find justice. After he hearing this, Najashi said, Tell me some of the revelations which your prophet claims to have received from God. Jafar radiallahu anhu then recited some Quranic verses in which Maryam the pure and devoted mother of the Prophet Isa salam, 
had to face angry and disbelieving family members. She points to the baby, Isa a.s., but they say they cannot speak to a mere baby. Then Isa a.s. himself ast astonishes them by utter uttering words of great wisdom. Overwhelmed, overwhelmed at this, the king ex exclaimed, the, the messages of Isa and Muhammad come from the same source. And drawing a line with his cane on the floor, he said joyfully, Between your religion and this line? Be and said joyfully, Between your religion and ours, there is no more difference than this line. King Najashi gave the Muslims permission to leave to live peacefully in his realm. The clever Meccans who were sent home were sent home bitterly and disappointed. The Prophet Isa a.s. In, in the Quran. Isa a.s., one of the great prophets, is frequently mentioned in the Quran, Surah 19, which is named after Maryam, the mother of the Prophet Isa a.s., tells us in gra graphic detail of the miraculous birth of the Prophet Isa a.s., and concludes with the pure words of the Prophet Isa a.s., which he spoke while he was an infant in the cradle. I am Allah's servant. He has given me the book and made me a prophet. He had blessed he he had he has made me blessed wherever I may be, and he com has commanded me to pray and to give alms. So so Long as I live and likewise to cheer my mother, he has not made me arrogant or wicked. I was blessed the day I was born, and peace be upon me the day I die, and the day I am raised up alive. This was narrated in Surah Maryam, 19, the 19th Surah, on the 30th and the 32th and the 32nd ayah. Well, that is it for today's video. Come back for part 12 next time. Thanks for watching.